What do women wear today that belong to men? Have you ever seen your grandmother in pants? God ain't make no mistakes when he made the woman, especially you black women. You are the most precious women that could ever walk the face of the earth. But you must remember who you are. back in Romans 13 and 11. The Bible says, behold, in that time, in what time? In this time that you're on the earth right now. Do not walk around here aimlessly thinking that you're black and thinking that you're just African American. Right. Brother and sister, you are much more than that. Right. You are the children of Israel, the real Jews according to the Bible. Right. Salvation for those that have been oppressed is on the way. But you cannot see it when you're caught up in all the foolishness, the foolishness that's here in America today. They got us down here on Market Street. They got us at the flea market. They have us all over the earth breaking God's commandments. And you don't take into mind that the war going on on the earth right now is recorded in the Bible. And that is for your sake. That is for your sake. Romans 13, 11, read. The book of Romans, chapter 13 and verse 11. Bring it out. And that. Knowing the time. God says that knowing the time. How are we going to know the time, sisters? How do we know the time? Y'all are some older sisters. I guarantee you, you've heard in your lifetime. I guarantee you've heard in your lifetime that, that we're living in the last days. How many times you heard that in your life? You've heard it a million times. How many times do you believe it? I don't know what to believe. I you don't know what to believe? I'm going to show you what to believe. Okay. Believe in the words of God. Right. Read this again. And that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. He says that knowing the time, now it is high time to awake out of, the, out of sleep. What sleep is he talking about? What sleep is the Bible talking about? I don't know. Okay, go back to Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Go back to Isaiah 1 and verse 3. Here is the sleep that he's talking about. Isaiah chapter 1 and verse 3. Listen up, brother. Brothers and sisters across the street, listen up good. Read. The book of Isaiah, chapter 1 and verse 3. Bring it out. The ox knoweth his owner, uh -huh. and the ass his master's crib. God is talking about two animals, right? He says the ox, an ox knows his owner, and an ass, which is a donkey, he knows his master's crib. You can take him five miles away where he'll, where he'll be in the morning. He go, so God is talking about two animals, dumb animals, who know their master's crib. Read. But Israel. But Israel. Now, who is Israel? Is it the people that's in Israel right now? Who is Israel? The Bible says, but Israel, it says, but Israel what? Does not know. He says, but Israel, they don't know who their God is. They don't know their, their homeland. They don't know who their crib is. Right, right. Why don't Israel know? I don't know. Okay, let me ask you this. Who is, the, who is Israel in the Bible? I don't know. So, that is a major question. They're going to church. I've been going, I've been in, I've been up in the Methodist church, the Baptist, I'm going every church there every is. Every church there is. Yeah. And don't know. But sisters, I'm going to show you Because they've been jumping and shouting and falling out. And, 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 and where has that got us? Nowhere. Nowhere. The jumping and shouting has got us nowhere. You know why? Because this is not about jumping and shouting. It's not. The Bible is not about that. It's the not. Bible is a history book. Right. It is a history book based on the children of Israel. What happened to them and what will happen to them in the future. Right. Now, I'm going to show you something. When you read the Bible, who is it talking to? Is it talking to the whole world? I don't know. No, no ma'am. Deuteronomy 1 and verse 1. You know the story of Moses leading the children of Israel out of Egypt? Moses, yeah, Mo yeah, Moses led the children of Israel out of Egypt, right? Uh -huh, so when he took when he took the children of Israel, you listen to brother. When he took the children of Israel into the wilderness, who was he talking to? Who was his audience? Um, Israel. Oh, really? Cause look, watch this. Listen up, real good. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter one and verse one. Bring it out. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel uh -huh. on this side Jordan in the wilderness. It says on this side of the Jordan in the wilderness, Moses was talking to the children of Israel. Right. What you're going to realize is the children of Israel are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Our foremothers and forefathers came here on a slave ship, right? Were they called African Americans on the slave ship? Were they called black on the slave ship? No. What were they called then? They were called 
the children of Israel. Yes, they were called Judah, Benjamin, right, Levi, right, Ephraim, right, Gad, right. Nathali. These right. are our names. So now, when our foreparents go through this, when they go through slavery, look at this right here. When they put us in slavery, where the other one at? Where is, where, where's the other one? When, they, when we go through this, you see the slave, slave ships? We shackled up on chains, shackled up at the bottom of ships. We were the cargo. Yeah, let me get down right there. That's the one I want. You see this right here? When this happened to us, this was prophesied in the Bible that it would happen to the children of Israel. Now, let's read that in the Bible and see if the Bible lines up with this. Y'all listening? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. Deuteronomy chapter, well first give me verse 32. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Read it out. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. You see that? It says your sons and your daughters are going to be given to another people. My sister, who did that happen to? Whose sons and daughters were given to another people on the earth? Uh, sons and daughters was, was given, given to, to another people. I kind of idea who it is. <laughs> it's, who, say it, say it. Black people. Oh, really? Look at this. Look at this sign and listen to the words. Read. Thy son and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. That's called slavery. Right. Your sons and daughters uh -huh. were given to another people. Come on. And thine eyes shall look and fare with longing for them all the day long. When they took our sons and our daughters, could we get them back? No, we could not get our sons and daughters back. They said, uh, nigga, nigga, nigga go on once, nigga, nigga, nigga go on twice. Sold to Master Thompson in Virginia. Sold to Master to Ma Ma Master uh, Charles in Charleston. Right. Sold to, to Master Williams in, in Louisiana. We were sold to these plantations. Right. You see that? We were sold to those plantations. So now, when you go to church, put that back over there. When you go to church, have you ever heard that in church? You know why my grandmama was here? Have you ever heard that in church? What? That your sons and daughters will be given to another people and sold. I ain't never heard no, that. No, because, but this is what the Bible is talking about. Now, read, give me verse 46. Read, listen up. Verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. God said that the curses that he's explaining that will be on the nation of Israel, they will be on you for a sign. Like, that is Main Street, right? Right. Is that Main Street? Look right there. See that sign? It says Main Street. How do I know that this is Main Street? Because the sign I says Main, Main Street. Street. Read this again. Listen up. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. God says the curses that I'm going to put on the children of Israel is going to be on them for a sign. Right. Meaning you're going to be able to look into the world and see a group of people that fit the curses that are in the Bible. That's the sign. That's how I know that we are the children of Israel. Right. That's how we understand who you are and who we are. Because we fit the sign. We fit the curse that is written in the Bible. Watch this. Read. And for a wonder. Uh, we, for a wonder. We, look, we, we wonder why all these things happen to us. We wonder why, we wonder why we're the ones shot down in the street. Right. Do you ever wonder why Chinese people ain't shot down in the street on a daily basis? Why ain't the Arab man shot down in the streets on a daily basis? Uh, Why ain't the white man shot down in the streets on a daily basis? Why don't they live in the ghettos, in the hoods? Why? We wonder why these things are only happening to so-called black people. Right. Because it's written in the Bible that this will be our it condition. It right. mm -hmm. Read on. And upon thy seed forever. God said that it's going to be upon your seed forever. Read. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God. Because when he gave us the earth, we did not serve him. We did not serve God with all our heart and with all our soul. So he put us in slavery. Right. Read. With joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Because in the beginning, he gave us all things. But if you look down here right now, this is the same thing we did when he, when he gave us all things. He gave us the earth to rule it. But we started to assimilate amongst all the other nations and started doing what they're doing. Right. Same thing we're doing today. Right now, we're doing what they're doing. Right. God says you're not to do that because right. you're holy. You're a separate people. You're, I've created you to keep the commandments of God. Watch this. Read. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemy. He says because y'all broke the commandments, give me that sign again. Because y'all broke the commandments, listen to this. Listen to this. Because you all broke the commandments, what? 
Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Therefore you're going to serve your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall sin against thee. God sent the enemy against us. Come on. In hunger. When you want food. When these slaves wanted food, who had to give them food? The slave master. Right. When you want food today, where do you go get your food from? The slave, the slave master, because he owned Walmart, he owned Piggly Wiggly, he owned everything. The same people that put us in slavery are the same people ruling over us today. Watch, watch this, read on. And then first, when you want water, you want, you're thirsty, you want some water, who you get your water from? Walmart. But listen, if you don't pay your water bill, what happens? They're going to turn your water off. You're still serving your enemy, come on. And then nakedness. When you want clothing to put on your back, where do you get it from? You get it from your, up your, and who owns J.C. Penney? The enemy owns J.C. Penney. Read. And then what of all things? God says in one of all things, when you want toothpaste, toothbrush, toilet paper, you want to go to, uh, you want a driver's license, you want to go across the seas, you need a passport, anything you want, you got to go to your enemy. Read. And he. Uh-oh. That's the key. It says, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. He shall what? Put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Remember, God said this is going to be the sign. He says, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Who put this yoke of iron on your neck? The, who did this to you? The slave master. The who? Yes, the who, sister? The slave master. The slave master, uh, which uh, is who? Which is who today? I, I hate to say it, but it's... No hate to say it? You got to love to say it. The so-called yeah. white man. Yeah. The so-called white man put them slave <laughs> chains on your neck. We can't be afraid of our history. This is the yeah, reason they're right. taking it out of the school right now. Uh -huh. So they know that we're afraid to, oh, we're afraid to talk about it. So they're taking our history out of school. They want to teach what's called secular history. Yeah. We don't want to hear nothing about no damn secular history. <laughs> we didn't give ourselves into slavery. Right. You put us in chains, and that is the history that you have to deal with. Right. You put us in slavery, but God allowed you to put us in slavery. Right. God let you put his chosen people in slavery. But guess what? Just like he put us in slavery, guess what he's going to do? He's going to redeem us from the slavery that he put us in. Shalom Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Mata Milia is the twelve. seen on the earth because right. what they have done to God's chosen people. It says and he, Come on. and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck uh -huh. until he hath destroyed thee. He says he's going to put a yoke of iron on your neck until he destroyed you. How do we know we're destroyed? Brother, what's your nationality? No. Huh? You know you're Israel. All praise to the Most High God. Sister, what's your nationality? I don't know. You're, so that's how we know we're destroyed. Because we don't know our nationality. I'm, I'm, today, you're going to get your nationality back. Right. Today, today, you sisters will get your nationality back. Do you agree? Give me Romans 8 and 16. Do you agree? Listen up, sisters. 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 Do you agree with what the Bible just said? You agree with that? Now, listen to this real quick. Read this. Romans chapter 8 verse 16 Real. The spirit itself Beareth witness with our God says the spirit that is within you The spirit itself beareth witness Come on With our spirit Do your spirit bear witness with your, with your people going into slavery Does your spirit bear witness with the so called white man Putting slave chains on our necks And, and keeping us in slavery for over 400 years Does your spirit bear witness to that Meaning is that the truth it's the truth, but I don't believe, I don't want to bear witness with No, it. what I'm saying is, when you bear witness, all right, so when you bear witness mean that you agree. Right. Now, oh. do you agree that I'm standing here in front of you today? Yeah. That means you, you're bearing witness of me standing here, right? Right. Now, did 
did slavery happen to your people as, we, as it said in the Bible? Yes, it did. So do you agree that the Bible is right? Yeah. Wait a minute. Do I agree? Do you agree that the Bible is right? I believe the Bible. Okay, let me show let me hold the sign again. Let me hold the sign again. Read verse 48 again. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thy enemy. Did the people on this side serve their enemies? Yeah. Are they your people? Yeah. Okay. We which the Lord shall sin against thee. God sent these people against us. Right. Why did he send them against us? Because we were disobedient to him. He sent them against us. Right. So, do you agree that these people were slaves? Are they your people? Okay, that means you bear witness that this is your people, that this is your history, this happened to you. Read on. In hunger, uh -huh. and in thirst, and in nakedness, and in want of all things, come on, come on. and he, it's now, now, it says, and he, which is the so-called white man that put chains on your neck, and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Do you agree that they put the yokes of iron on your neck? Yep. <laughs> okay, so that means, my sisters, that you bear witness that the Bible is correct. So what, this is how we get an understanding of what the Bible is saying. Now when we go to Romans chapter 8 and verse 16, read in Romans 8, 8 16. Romans chapter 8, verse 16. Bring it out. The Spirit itself bear witness. Now your spirit itself, the spirit within you, the mind within you, bears record that this happened to your people, right? The spirit itself bears Bear witness with our spirit. It bears witness with our spirit. When I look at this sign, I know that those are my people in this cotton field, in the tobacco field, that are in the sugar cane field. You know that these are your people in the sugar cane field. We bear record, we bear witness that this is our people, that this happened to us. Read. Right. That we are the children of God. You hear that, sister? That you are what? What did the Bible say? That you are what? Listen, 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 listen. That if your spirit bear witness, you agree that what? That we are the children of God. So the Bible is showing us that we are the children of God. That's right. We are the children of God. Yeah. Sister, you got flyers? It's yeah. easy to come and hear this world, walk no, away, and then go you. back to sinning. No, I got you. It's easy. You. Let me give y'all one commandment before y'all leave. One commandment. Give me Deuteronomy chapter 20, 25. Give me one commandment. I'm going to show you. This is how you fix yourself. If you agree that we went into slavery for breaking God's commandments, then you will have to agree in order for us to fix ourselves, what must we do? Keep God's commandments. Right. So I'm going to give you a commandment that you're not going to like. But if you desire to enter into the kingdom of heaven, it is something that you must do. You're not just going to die and float off into this magical place right. like they taught us here on earth. Right. That is not how it works. It's recorded in the Bible, but because black people don't read, we don't understand. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. The woman, shall, uh -huh. the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Come on. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. For all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. What do women wear today that belong to men? An I, article of clothing. I wear these pants, but they belong to me. Nope, 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 nope. You see, you see how you changed it up? What God said. Now you answered the question, sister. You answered it because you know what was going into. I, I got a question for you. Have you ever? Did you ever see? Have you ever seen your grandmother in pants? I don't think they had them back then. What says? Whoa, 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 whoa. Say what now? Her grandmother didn't have them back then. Didn't have what? Pants. They didn't have pants back then. So if they didn't, if, the, if women did not have pants back then, where did they come from today? Bring it out. Where did they come from today? The same person, the same people that put them chains on your neck, the same people that put us in captivity, are the same ones that implemented for our women to wear pants. Right. Why? Because in slavery, your grandmothers and foremothers, they did not wear pants. Right. You know why? Because when they got off the slave ship, they were already keeping the customs from their own land. Right. We learned the ways of the heathen, much like we've learned them again today here in America. Yeah. Breaking God's commandments. Right. The woman is not supposed to wear pants. Right. Why? Because God made your body specifically to breathe. When you put on pants, your body can't breathe. That's when you get what's called a what? Infection. 
yeast infection. That's because your body is meant to breathe. God didn't make no mistakes when he made the woman, especially you black women. You are the most precious women that could ever walk the face of the earth. But you must remember who you are. You must remember that God created you different from these other nations. Our women are so different that they wanted to kill all the men to have our, give me that in Judith. Right? They wanted to kill all the men because our women were so beautiful and so righteous. How has the woman fallen to such a low estate today? Because we have assimilated and agreed to what they've given us in America. We have not changed our mind according to what God wants us to do. And we refuse to do it because we love sin so much. Right. America has made sin pleasurable. They say, oh, come down to Main Street in Columbia, South Carolina on the Market Street. There's nothing wrong with having some fun on Saturday. Yeah. It is something wrong. You are breaking the Sabbath day according to God. Right. Read what you got. Jude chapter 10, verse 19. Yeah. And they wondered at her beauty. They wondered at the beauty of our sisters. Why? Because you were so beautiful. They had never seen women like you on the earth. Read on. And admired the children of Israel. They admired who? The children of Israel. This whole thing that's taking place on the earth right now between Israel and Palestine is for the children of Israel. Right. It is for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. It's recorded in the Bible. Right. Read on. Because of her. And everyone said to his neighbor, who would despise these people? They said, who can despise these people? Who can despise these black men? How can you despise them? Read on. Nice to meet you, sister. Take that flyer and come to the school and learn. These are the last days spoken of by the Bible. Read on. They have among them such women. They said, who can despise these people that got among them such women? How did they get these type of beautiful women? Read. Surely it is not good that one man of them be left who being let go might deceive the whole earth. He said, surely not one man of them should be left, meaning that they would kill all of us just to have our women. Right. Read on. That was it. Now, go back to what I had you holding. Why is this thing going on? We must realize, brothers, sisters, we must realize the controversy over in Palestine right now, what's going on in Israel right now, those missiles flying. Let's not sit back and act like Christ didn't tell us to watch for these times. Hold that. Give me Matthew 24 and verse 7. Read on. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 7 real quick. Matthew chapter 24 verse 7 yeah. For nation shall rise against nation Christ is telling us nation is going to rise against nation Come on And kingdom against kingdom Kingdom is going to rise against kingdom You got Palestine and Israel at war right now Read. And there shall be famine Famine is in the earth right now You ever go to the grocery store on any given Friday And you notice that ain't no meat on this side Where all the meat at? What happened to all the rice? Why is the shelf empty? America is not telling you we're in a famine right now. Right. They got something in the store that they call blocking the shelves. When they go in there and they just pull everything to the front right. to make it look like it's full, right. but it's not really full. Things are being discontinued because when you go across, when you, if you fly from here to San Francisco, you will see that there are many ships that are just sitting in the water full of cargo that they cannot get over here. Because we are in the midst of famine. Right. God is, the Lord is making this happen on the earth. Read yeah. that again. And there shall be famines and pestilence. Pestilence, COVID-19. They got a COVID-20 coming out. They got this new flu coming out that is going to attack your respiratory system and you're going to have flu-like symptoms. Where do you think this is coming from? It's being created in a lab so that they can so-called reduce the population of the earth. Right. These things are recorded in the Bible. Christ says, watch, beware of the time. Read. An earthquake. They just had a big earthquake. What was that? Uh, Iraq. Iraq just had a big earthquake, bigger than they ever seen. Why? Because the prophets are prophesying on the earth. Yeah. This book gets activated when the real men of God who understand this Bible prophesy. God told us in the last days. Give me Isaiah chapter 58. Isaiah chapter 58 verse 1. Read this for me real quick. I wasn't even thinking about the Uh-huh. You never see me in another pair of pants. Oh, I'll praise to the most high. I'll praise to the most high, sister. Because the controversy is for you. Repentance is for the nation of Israel. Read this. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud. God told us to come to these streets and to cry aloud. Come on. 
Don't spare your feelings because sometimes it hurts. Sometimes it cuts us deep when we realize that we've been doing something wrong against God. But it's so hard for us to change. Because when we change, guess what everybody sees around us? Damn, bro, what's wrong with you? What's them little funny things on your shirt? Right. Why you ain't coming out on Saturday no more? Right. Why Why you stop eating pork? Right. Why you stop eating shrimp, crab, lock? These are the things that's going to take place in your life when you decide to follow the Bible. Right. You must change. God says, cry loud, spare not. Come on. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet. He told the prophets to lift up thy voice like a trumpet. That's why we are here. Right. There's nothing greater to do than to resurrect the greatest people on the earth. Yes. You have been beaten down. You have been trotted down. Your land has been taken. You have been made to be nothing here in America. But we're here to tell you, stand up, black man. Stand up, black woman. Regain the consciousness that God gave you and understand that you are the children of Israel. Yes. Read. And show my people their transgression. Our job is to show you the transgressions of God. Show you that we have transgressed the laws of God, that we are his chosen people. Right. We must come back to who we are. Read. In the house of Jacob, their sin. It is our job to show you your sins. So when you see what's going on in the world today, know of a surety that those missiles are for you. Everything that is happening in Palestine and Jerusalem right now, it is for you. Go back right. to that in Joel. Joel chapter 1. Joel chapter 1. Read. Joel chapter 3 verse 1. Read for behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. So when you see the Palestines and you see Israel going to war, that's the Lord. He's stirring the pot up. He's stirring the pot up to cause war on the earth. Read it. And we'll plead with them there. God says, I'm going to plead with them there. Not meaning, meaning that God pleads with war. He don't plead with, hey, brother, hey, sister, can you do this or can you do Will you give my people back their land? Bring can you up. tell the world that you are not the real Jews? No. Nah, the Lord is going to plead with war, with fire and hey. brimstone. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's nation time.